I recently added a 2TB solid state drive to my workstation, specifically the AX2 from Team Group. In 2023, a 2.5 inch SSD is nothing special. It's probably fair to say that they're becoming part of the legacy lineup of hardware, but nonetheless, join me as we do a quick review of its performance. My motivation for the purchase was simple. I had to replace a hard drive in my existing workstation, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Having used products from Team Group before, I want to explore my options. This is how I ended up with the AX2. We'll use Crystal Disk Mark to perform the test. Per the drive specs, the 2TB drive is rated for read speeds of up to 540 megabytes per second and write speeds of 490. By no means are we breaking any records. In review of the test, we do see that the drive indeed delivers on what's promised. Let's also note that the drive claims a TBW of 1600. This is common with large drives and most users will never come close to wearing out their drives. This SSD's performance should be no surprise. Some will say that it falls short, but let's remember I'm replacing a hard drive that was rated for 200 megabytes per second at best so we should not be comparing it directly to a drive such as the Crucial MX500. For the everyday users, nearly any SSD will perform the job well enough, and the AX2 does just that. That's why I subscribe to the idea of purchasing an, an affordable drive that simply works. There are those that will argue that the drive does not have the RAM. True, it doesn't, nor are you paying for it. But let's perform a few sustained writes to the drive and evaluate its performance. Let's also point out that it's not uncommon to see a drive's performance become compromised as it becomes filled with data. After the first batch of transfers, the drive's performance has lowered, but still maintains better performance than a traditional hard drive. Personally, I am okay with this, since in reality, very rarely will I transfer this much data on a daily basis. And having worked with hard drives since the 1980s, I still appreciate the transfer speeds that are achieved with the AX2. Let me jump ahead though and show you the drive's performance definitely falling short. Note that the drive is approximately 75% full and I am now copying over even a larger chunk of data at 250 gigabytes. Again, this was done on purpose and does not represent daily use. For the purchase price of approximately $80, I am happy enough with the drive's performance and in due process the costs will continue to go down. Notice that this drive was purchased on Amazon and on Team Group's own website they note that this is a special model or a special edition. How so? Simply it's an Amazon only option. However looking closely we see the drive is a clone of the CX2. Ultimately it comes down to what sticker color you like better. In review, if you're looking for an inexpensive option, then yes, the AX2 or the CX2 for that matter are decent purchases. If you're looking for the newest technology, then no. But let's also acknowledge that such a drive would never be an option, with the many considerations that are available for the NVMe drives. What about the RAM? Only if you need it, or because you like to spend too much money. Should it be considered? Have you been thinking about purchasing a 2.5 inch SSD? Were you considering one from Team Group? Leave a comment below. 
This is where I ask you to hit the like button, especially if the video was of any use. And if you have not already, please think about subscribing so you won't miss future videos. As always, thanks for watching.